very good day to doctors and my fellow friends. Today our group will be going to present the unemployment rate in Malaysia. So this is the member that our group consists. Okay. The unemployment rate in Malaysia 2021. So this presentation is regarding the data visualization of the unemployment rate in Malaysia to provide a better understanding of interpreting the data in a graphical representations. So I will start with the with my introductions. So Malaysia had a movement control order which known as MCO since 18 of March 2020 due to the pandemic COVID-19 in our country. The government has announced some standard operation procedures SOP to ensure the safety and health of the residents. The most influential and direct thing that we can see is the government being forced to close some economic sectors to reduce the crowd and the risk of getting disease. Therefore, some business might not support their business in a long term period and make them face the crisis of bankruptcy. The employees need to dismiss of some of their staff to maintain or reduce their business funds. This has made many residents to lose their jobs and become unemployed. Here is some of the data that we have researched. Okay, so I'm presenting the data. This is the first example that used data visualization to describe the number of employed person by status using pie charts starting from December 2020 up until March 2021. As you can see, uh, the blue sector, which is the employee employed percentage increases each month, indicating that more business economic has been opened up, while the percentage for employer also has increases each month, which is more individuals have started their own businesses. Meanwhile, the percentage of the un unpaid family worker, the green sector, has decreases each month, which is great because more individuals has been paid for working. Okay, so uh, in this graph, they show that there's only a few unemployment persons in the beginning of year 2020, uh, which is in the January, and slightly rise in the following month, which is on the February. So, um, and up to 2020, the unemployment rate escalated from 3.90 to 5.00 percentage point and continued to rise to 5.30 percentage point in May 2020. So if we can see uh, here in the color of the bar chart, it actually represents the number of uh, unemployment person. So uh, during the first movement control order, the MCO, the government uh, ordered many sectors to shut down their businesses. So this may con have contributed to the drastic increase in the unemployment rate during that month. So uh, after that, the graph show uh, a decline until September 2020, but starting to increase again in the following month. This happened due to the need to the new COVID cases where many companies started to experience uh, economic problems. So we have proposed some solutions to overcome the unemployment rate. Firstly, the government should encourage self-employment and entrepreneurship. Besides that, the government need to enhance the education standards and qualities. Next, the government need to ensure political stability. Next. The last three solutions are a several business to offer a tiny platform to unemployed individuals such as dropshipping or delivery service. Unemployed individuals should apply for unemployment insurance. And lastly, unemployed individuals should work on their soft skills, be more resilient and competitive. So in conclusion, as we know that unemployed individual refers to those who do not have a job but are interested to work. There are two groups of unemployed that are actively unemployed and inactively unemployed. We also can see unemployment problems increased sharply and continued with high readings due to the pandemic of COVID-19. This will actually take a long time to recover and this unemployment problem will become increasingly worrisome. The solution proposed must take must be taken to action in order to overcome the, this issue of unemployment from worsening. That's all for our team. Thank you.